Hey Precalc, you're watching this on the 24th. It's a Wednesday. You should have a paper to fill out as you're watching this. If you do not have that paper, just write these examples down in your comp book. We are reviewing exponential equations and logarithms. That will be our topic for this whole review session. So, well, number one, I'm going to ask you to graph this function. Let's see if I can get a better lighting. Some glare here. We have y equals 1 minus 2 to the x. In order to graph that, we are, I'm going to put in a more familiar form. I'm going to put the minus 2 to the x first and the plus 1, but those are equivalent statements. So, 2 to the x is an exponential equation. You'll recall they always pack cross here, a tail over here, and we graph these with two points in our sissy chart. Zero, anything to the zero is one. And then, and so first of all, I'm graphing the basic y equals 2 to the x. So anything to the zero is one, and when I put in x is one, I get um, y is 2. So I'm going to graph 1 over 2 up. Alright, so that's the basic y equals 2 to the x. But notice the negative in front will do something to that graph and it will flip it across the x-axis. So now it's down here. And the plus 1 will move it up 1. So let's see if I have another color floating around here. So we're going to take this graph and move it up one. So it'll end up this blue guy. All right. So that's the graph of one minus two to the x, graphing it with transformations like that. All right. During your final, they, this would be a no calculator problem. There's going to be several problems given where you will. Um, have no calculator on your desk and you'll complete those. They'll be like this and then you uh, collect that and then you'll have the calculator part. So just be forewarned about that. Well number two, we are taking this expression. It's called a logarithmic expression and we're going to put it in what's called exponential form. So we're going to get rid of the word log. It's always this number raised to this number equals this number. It's not asking us to solve it. It's just asking us to put it in a different form. So this is exponential form. All right. The next one is going to go the other way. I'm going to give it to you in exponential form and ask you to put it in log form. And so, to put it in log form, we want the log word back in the equation. This is the base, the little small number. And with the number follows and the exponent over here. So that's how you go from exponential to logarithmic. This number, this log, log to the base of, of this number of 25 equals 2. All right, so number four. Now notice on the handout I gave you, it is multiple choice, but the test will not be multiple choice. So when you practice tomorrow, it will not be multiple choice. All right, so I guess if you're doing multiple choice, number two was selection C, and number three was selection A. But write out the answers and then make your choice. Number four, you're making a study guide. They give us this expression. I write y instead of f of x. They're interchangeable. And they want to know what that is when x is equal to 1 over 27. This would be in the no calculator part. So it's saying what exponent, a log is an exponent, what exponent do I give 3? to get 1 over 20. What exponent, that's a question mark by the way, what exponent do I give 3 to get 1 over 27? 
So you're aware that we're going to have to make this a fraction with a negative exponent. And what will change 1 3rd to 1 27th? It's going to be 3. So we're going to say 3 to the negative 3 is 1 over 27. Remember the negative causes this to become a reciprocal, 1 3rd. And then we raise 1 3rd times itself 3 times. It does give us 1 over 27. So what exponent do I give this number to get this number? The answer is negative 3. And that was answer B on the multis there. Number 4, I'm sorry, number 5 is to follow. And we're going to solve an equation. All right, we're not going to use the one-to-one -one property, so we are just going to work with this. So it turns out if log is appears once on one side of the equation and once on the other side of the equation, then we know the only way these two expressions can be equal is the 1 minus x will have to equal 10. So that's going to be 1 minus x equals 10 minus x equals 9 and x equals negative 9. Alright, when, when you have a logarithmic equation you have to put the negative 9 back in the arguments for x and see if it creates a 0 or a negative number. If it does we exclude it from the answer. Negative 9, 1 minus a minus 9 does not create a negative argument. It's been checked. So the correct answer for number 5 on your multis is B. But I want to see this work written down, not just the answer circled. So this is a study sheet. Now, if log does not, ex we'll hit one later where log is not once on one side and once on the other, and we'll remind ourselves how to do that at that time. Number six, log to the base four of 65,536 equals x. So a log is an exponent. What exponent do I give four to get, so four raised to the what? will give me 65536. So the answer to that is um, what exponent do I get 4 to get 65536? I'm wondering what the answer is to that. Perhaps it is 8. I don't have my calculator with me at this moment. Would you check that for me? And I'm going to assume that that's right. So 4 times 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 4. Does that give me this number? I'm assuming it does. So therefore the answer is x equals 8. What exponent do I give this number to get this one? 8. If that's correct and you have confirmed it, it's answer D. So let me know tomorrow if, I, if it was wrong. Alright, number 7 we have a graph to do. So we're going to start with the basic graph and then we'll move it around. So a logarithmic graph is going to take on two values will get us what we need. So when x is 1 and when x is 4. That should be it. We should know enough about the logarithmic graph to get the whole thing with those two points. So log to the base 4 of 1. What exponent do I get 4 to get 1? Anything to the 0. So 1, 0 and this point is on the basic log graphs. And then what exponent do I give 4 to get 4? 1. So I go out 4 and go up 1. And you should recall that tails off here and grows in this direction, but slowly. So how will that change when I do I put a minus two inside the argument hugging the x? That is a right two. To the right, to the right, to the right. 
So it goes over here. All right, so of your answers there, it looks like it is letter D. And again, when you practice in class, these there will be no Maltese. It's just a straightforward, like it will be on the test, a straightforward question. A log to the base 7 of 42 cannot be found on the calculator unless you have an Inspire, which if you're going to buy another calculator, that's the direction, I'm sure, all math classes are going to go, so go for it. Alright, so when you, this is the change of base formula. It's the log of this, what I call upper number, divided by the log of the lower number. And we actually proved why that was true in class, developed why that is. It should be around 1.9, so that looks like the answer is C. All right, number nine. All right, so we're using the log rules and we're going to take log to the base A of x to the sixth, y to the seventh. And we're going to do what we call expand. So we're going to write that so it has no exponents. So in order to do that, we have to remember that the log of two things multiplied is the same as the log of the individual factors added. So we're going to apply this rule of logs to this, and we get log to the base a of x to the 6 plus log to the base a of y to the 7th. Another rule of logs allows the exponent to become a coefficient. So we're going to let those run down in front. And we proved all these log rules earlier. All right, so that looks like the answer is A. And it's, it's totally expanded when all the exponents are coefficients and there are no log arguments multiplied or divided any longer. So that looks like answer A. Number 10, we are going uh, to do the same thing with a more complex expression. We're going to expand this as well. So we recall, first of all, that x to the seventh, y squared over z to the fourth, whoops, where's my log? Log to the base b, log to the base b. It can be rewritten as what fraction? Square root, a fourth root can be written as one fourth. So right away, that one fourth can run down in front, as we discussed a second ago. And now we have. Two logs, so this one fourth will affect anything I do afterwards. So I see two, um, I see something divided by something. So that rule log of A divided by B equals log A minus log B. So keeping that in mind, let's rewrite this. So we have one fourth, and then inside these brackets, I'm going to apply this rule of logs. So log b of the top, x to the 7, y squared, minus log b of z to the 4th. I'll get it later. So now I'm going to take inside of these logs, I'm going to use this law, where, where's my law that I just wrote? Log, log rules. Uh, I guess I didn't write it. But anyway, when you have the log of two things in the argument multiplied, you can write expand them by the log of each factor added. So we can do this. Oops. Log the base b of y squared. And then over here it continues as log to the base b of z to the fourth. 
All right, we are almost done, but we need to get a more in a more expanded form by 